Hello again in the beautifully cold Milwaukee. Um, it's actually not that cold, it's just a joke. Anyway, here we are, it's Caitlin. And Arai. And puppies. Can never forget them, they're our road trip buddies. Oh my God, they look so cute right now. So cute, they're just sitting and waiting to go. We are heading to Minnesota, specifically in Minneapolis. It is about 10 o'clock central time, and we're gonna stay in central time now, which is awesome because the last couple road trips we have changed to Eastern. So we're here in the ID4. We have our route planned. So and yeah. And then Arai can take over this part because he planned it. Yeah, so I went ahead and planned this on PlugShare. Video incoming if it's not out already on how to plan. I'm using the PlugShare trip planner. Um, so first stop we have, uh, we're gonna be stopping in Madison. Uh, then there's gonna be Toma, Eau Claire. And then finally there's gonna be a fourth stop in uh, Minneapolis just so we can uh, gain some free charge while we're over there. Um, we're going to the US men's national soccer team against Honduras at Allianz Field in St. Paul. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. That's this evening at 6.30. It's currently 10 o'clock, so we want to get on our way to make sure uh, we obviously make it for the game. Uh, we should only have to stop maybe half an hour at each stop because uh, it is a shorter trip than our trips to Columbus. Uh, so it's fun that we're going a different route this time, trying some different chargers. Um, so I plan both to and from, and then we're visiting um, Caitlin's friends out in uh, the Rochester, Minnesota area after um, the game. I think we're heading there on Friday. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, just to show you where we're starting in terms of our state of charge. Uh, we're at 92%. Caitlin charged it up to 100% at work yesterday since she has a work charger over there. Uh, the 92% equivalates to 174 miles on the guessometer. Um, so we should be able to make it no problem. I mean, we will be able to make it no problem to Madison. Uh, the one that's going to be a little more of a stretch is if we wanted to go straight from Milwaukee to Toma. Um, I want to see actually what Google is saying for that. We're going to try to make it all the way over there um, instead of stopping in Madison, but we will see if that actually works out. I just want to see what the mileage is since we only have a estimate of 174 miles, but that's probably not going to be the most accurate. I'm guessing that's probably going to drop off because of the cold. Uh, and then Caitlin drove it to work yesterday. So um, Andrew Dotto is being slightly slow here, so bear with me. So 171 miles. Theoretically, we can make it. So I'm going to start our navigation there and see what the guessometer says. My guess is we'll probably still have to stop in Madison, um, given that I'm, I don't feel comfortable with the three mile buffer on there. Uh, so we'll see where we're at when we get closer to Madison. It's probably not gonna get us to Toma, but you know, gotta try. So uh, we're gonna get on our way and we'll document our journey. Quick update for y'all. Uh, we are in Dane County now, which is the county where Madison is in. Uh, we are definitely not gonna make it to Toma at this point. We're 110 miles away from charger in, Doma, uh, in Toma, and then we have 98 miles on the guessometer. Um, I've had my cruise control set at about 75 miles an hour. Um, I even tried going a little bit slower, just the range kept dropping. We have not adjusted the climate control since we got it, and we keep it at 65 degrees. I am driving in eco mode per usual. Um, yeah, we're just not gonna make it to Toma. So we're gonna stop in Madison, do maybe like a 10, 15 minute charge, uh, just to give us that buffer uh, to get over to Toma. And then we'll go into Eau Claire, and then we'll pretty much be golden from there. Uh, we, we may stop at the Minneapolis charger, depending on how, uh, I forgot how many miles exactly we're between Eau Claire and Minneapolis, but we'll see where we are there. Um, as I said, I put all of the Electrify America stations um, into PlugShare so that in the case where we need to stop at one, we can, uh, we can skip one if we need to as well. So I kind of, you know, adapt as we go on the trip because especially in this cold weather, I mean, it is 14 degrees out right now. Um, it does affect the range quite a bit and kind of fluctuates. It has dropped as we go west and north, it's going to get colder and colder. So I just don't want to, you know, take any chances. So on our way to Madison, we'll see you there. Welcome to Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, pardon all the dog hair on me, obviously, with dogs in the car, it's hard to keep that off. Uh, we're here at the Electrify America charging station. There's a Porsche Taycan charging next to us. Uh, looks like he's been here for a little bit. He's actually charging pretty slow considering how fast that car can charge. But we're gonna go ahead and just get plugged in here and get this little quick top off going. Oh, gotta unlock my car, that would help, right? Sometimes this charging, oh, maybe we're having one of those issues where the charging port gets Stuck on us here. Is Car is unlocked. Yeah, with the cold, it gets stuck. So I see I had to kind of bend that open. Uh, anyway. All right, oh boy. These cables get so stiff in the winter. Woo -hoo, that's, a, that's a tough one. Probably because I'm a little further away too.
Oh man. There we go. I think it clicked in. Step back over to the station here, connecting the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna try NFC and see if that works. If not, we'll just do it through the app. And look at that, might be taking it. Well, hey, that was pretty quick. That was pretty nice. Uh, pleasant surprise when the NFC does work. The one in Milwaukee, I've <laughs> almost never been able to get that one to work. I think maybe once before it's worked. Um, it is chilly out here, guys. It's like 15 degrees. We'll just see what we uh, what our charger starts at here, and we'll uh, get back in the toasty car. Heard the contacts click. So we are currently, we've arrived here with 40% state of charge. See that charging speed ramp up there. I'd say that's acceptable considering the cold temperature and the high state of charge. So let's go on and get back in the car because it's freezing out here and I didn't wear my winter coat and we'll, we'll get going. We're currently 97 miles from Tomo, Wisconsin with 111 miles on the gasometer. I kind of trust the gasometer at this point. Uh, 112 miles now on the gasometer. Let's turn on the ignition and see if that goes up at all. Yeah, it went up one mile to 113. Um, I don't know why there's a discrepancy between when the ignition is on. Um, we, I've seen it where it just jumps 10, 20 miles before, um, you know, unplugged and having it on. I, I don't know, I can't explain that. I don't know what Volkswagen's programming is versus the ignition being on or off. Maybe it takes into account temperature a little bit differently. Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and get unplugged here because now, yeah, now it just went up again. So now it's 114. Um, we'll be totally fine, I think, with the 17 mile buffer. Um, considering that we, I mean, I, we got here with what, like 90 miles on the guess meter and stuff. So we just needed a little top off here to get us to the next stop, 97 miles away. I'll go slower if I have to. This is just a really bad charging stop here. We consistently get low speeds when we stop here in Madison. So 45 kilowatts is not great. That's, I mean, it's pretty mediocre, honestly. I'm glad we're not paying by the minute because I'd be really pissed off if we were. Um, but we get the free charging with ID4, of course. So we're gonna get going. Hopefully Toma uh, has a little bit, you know, better charging situation. Hopefully our battery gets even warmer so that there's no excuse for the charger to not, um, to not give us the full peak speed. So um, lower, lower the, we, obviously we plugged in at 40%, so we were never gonna get peak charging speeds here. But if we get to Toma and we're really low, we should be able to ride that wave and you know get us to Eau Claire then and then to Minneapolis. So we'll see you in Toma. Driving out here in Wisconsin, uh, we are just approaching Toma. Uh, we just passed where 90 and 94 split. Uh, we have about three and a half miles to go to the charger. Uh, you can just see there's a whole lot of nothing out here. Um, you know, very cool that there's an Electrify America charger line along 94 here. So, there's Google telling us to exit here, but I just wanted to show you over on my guessometer here. So we are down to 5%, so it's very good we charged in Madison. Uh, we have eight miles of range, that'll get us the three miles to the charger. Absolutely no problem here. Um, but you can see just on this side here where my power is limited because we're at such a low state of charge. Uh, and I think that's even worse, uh, worsely impacted by the uh, cold weather as well. Cause I don't remember that power bar going that far down when we were driving this uh, again, when it was warmer. So uh, if, I, if you really needed to get the full acceleration out of this car, you won't get it at this low state of charge. Uh, especially when it's cold out. Just wanted to give a heads up, but we'll update you when we're at the state uh, at the charging station. So we've arrived at Electrify America. Not sure why uh, the address plug share put in uh, says there. I think there's a Tesla supercharger somewhere. It might be in the strip mall behind us because there's a lot of stuff over there. But the address that plug share has. Uh, it makes Google Maps think it's a Tesla supercharger for some reason. So we're gonna hit done here. Uh, we've arrived with 4% state of charge, five miles of range, so uh, we are right on it. Let's take a look, let's see what our charger number is. Oh, hello, Teddy and Riley. We are at charger number one. And uh, the Chatamo is number four, so we're not blocking the Chatamo. Nobody else here, just the four charging stations. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open our Electrify America app. We'll try to make this a little bit easier this time, and I like to demonstrate when this uh, Electrify America Android Auto app works. So we'll hit nearby. It'll show our Toma station, all four are available. Let's select charger. Yep, so it's showing the accurate 150 kilowatts. We don't need the 350, so we'll leave that. 
Uh, there's actually two 350s, and we don't need a, so we'll leave those, um, you know, for Porsche Taycan owners if someone happens to go by. So I'll go ahead and hit start charge here, and then it should be just as easy. Please plug in now. I swear, every stop we make, it's a little bit colder, I think, than the previous one, because uh, we're heading north. So uh, Minnesota's going to be freezing for this game tonight. But yeah, here we go with the charger. It says, please plug in. Go ahead and grab cable one here. Maybe I'll be able to do this with one hand, because we got it going here. There we go. All right, one hand, let's do it. Cable is so heavy and stiff, I swear. These are, that's why the Tesla chargers are so popular because it's a lot easier to plug them in. All right, cool. Connecting to vehicle, we'll see what we're getting here. Very quickly initiating the charging there. And look at that, we've dropped down to 3% state of charge now. So we'll see what our current charge speed is going to give us here. Good, good. Ramping up, ramping up. Let's hit 100. Let's go. Ah, uh, 90, 92. Not bad. I think that'll go up. I think we're just so low, it might ramp up even more. So I'll keep an eye in the Electrify America app and see how we're doing on that front but for now um, there's another thing I wanted to show you over here this is pretty cool uh, so they have a uh, this whatever this strip mall over here is they do some promos for EV drivers so that's pretty cool and then they they must sponsor this garbage can <laughs> which is kind of funny to me but anyway uh, we will go ahead and probably run and use the restroom and see, I don't know, I don't see these businesses are not immediately walkable from here from what I can tell, so I think they might mean after you're done charging, come hang out with us, because you probably wouldn't want to, you know, leave your car here by going there anyway, so uh, awesome. So we will go ahead and uh, get on going here and I'll update you when we're done charging. Let's just take one more look at the uh, current charging speed. So we went up to 97, so that's awesome. So we might actually hit peak here, which is awesome. Um, I will keep an eye, just keep track of that in the app, and then we should be good to go. There's a little bit more snow on the ground over here. Cool, see you in a sec. All right, so we've been sitting here for about 24 minutes now. We are already charged up to 56% from uh, when we started at about three to 4%. Um, so that's not too bad. I mean, I saw the peak of ignore the 175 here as I stated in my last video That's just a glitch with the Electrify America app, but the highest uh, speed I actually observed either through the app or on the Machine aside from this glitchy 175 was 123 kilowatts So not too bad considering just how cold it is. I mean car shows it's 14. My phone was showing that's 12 So I um, just want to show you our next stop is going to be the Eau Claire uh, Wisconsin Electrify America, so we'll just zoom out here on the Electrify America app find it there We also could have looked in plug share it looks like that's at a Walmart Sam's Club uh, right off 94 as well So we're just gonna check and see uh, how many miles it is gonna be till there so Let's hit the direction button, that would help. Uh, so 75 miles, we currently have 102 miles, so we're ready to go um, at 59% charge. So not always necessary to charge to 80. I'd rather ride the wave and uh, of the high charging speed, and once it gets past 50, it usually plateaus. So um, awesome, I think we're ready to go, and uh, I know that we're excited to finally get there and get ourselves situated. We're making pretty good time. Welcome to the Walmart in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. We just hit 13,000 miles on the car. Since the odometer doesn't show while I drive, I don't ever catch it when it actually happens, but pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn on the ignition here so we can just see our percentage. Um, so it's obviously telling me to charge my car. I get the little notice on the infotainment system here as well. We're at 9% and 15 miles of remaining range. So uh, we wanna see if we can make it from here to our, play, our Airbnb. So I'll do some mileage calculations here, but for now, let's just go ahead and get us plugged in. Uh, we are at charger number three. So gonna go ahead and get that activated. We'll get, our, we'll get ourselves plugged in. It says actually there's only three chargers available here, but nobody else is charging. So I wonder if one of them is down. Uh, so there are two over here and two over here. So just four uh, at this location. So it says number three is unavailable. And of course that is the one that we're at. So yeah, we're just gonna try this one then. Four. Um, yeah, that probably. Yeah, 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 because that's one that's and two. two, one and two. Yep, perfect. Uh, so we'll hit four. They really need to label these better so you can see what number is which, even from behind, just in case. Like this one, I can't even see the screen from here because it's all. Yeah, that looks off actually. <laughs> so maybe that charger genuinely is having some problems. It's not just the app. So let's go ahead and start here, and then charger number four. I'm gonna go plug a, plug us in. 
So we just started charging here. You can see the here the machine behind me. Hopefully the wind is not too bad. I don't have my uh, new mic on right now. Uh, we're at 120 kilowatts already at 9% state of charge. So that is awesome. I'll let you take a look here. So just plugged in and then you can see right there 120. So uh, as a reminder, the current peak in this car is 125. So that's pretty good considering how cold it is. Um, especially, I think it's like 10 degrees here now. It's a little cooler as we keep progressing north. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're on our way here. I think we're gonna run over. There's another quick trip over there. Our favorite spot in uh, Wisconsin slash Minnesota. I think we're gonna walk over there and get some lunch. And then, uh, cause they just have such good gas. I mean, it's for a gas station, their food is pretty good. By the time we're back here, it should be at the charge we want it to be at. All right, so we are uh, just leaving Eau Claire, Electrify America station at the Walmart here. We're just about to get back on the road. We charge all the way up to 80% because we want to be able to uh, get to our Airbnb to drop off our dogs, uh, and then another eight miles after that to get to Allianz Field, um, where there are some uh, charge point stations surrounding the stadium. So we're gonna hope that we are able to use those. Uh, we have 98 miles to the destination, so 130 miles in the guestometer should be fine. Actually, let's make turn left here. Oops. Take the next Sorry, left guy. onto Gateway Drive, then turn right onto Keystone Crossing. So yeah, we will see you guys in Minneapolis and we'll keep you updated with what we get out when we get to Airbnb, as well as what we, uh, if we're able to find a charger outside this uh, soccer right match. On our way to Allianz Field, we just dropped off the dogs at our Airbnb. We actually arrived with that 30 mile buffer that the car thought we'd arrive with. So the car learned us more along this trip and uh, it was most accurate that last uh, leg from Eau Claire to Minneapolis. Uh, we did skip the Electrify America in Minneapolis because we're kind of on a crunch for time. The game's at 6, it's current, uh, 6.30, excuse me. Uh, it's currently 5.41. Uh, so we're on our way there now. So we'll arrive there just before 6. There are a couple charge point chargers at a Target that's within a uh, mile of the stadium. There's another charge point that was even closer that was just across the street from the stadium, but that one, someone beat us to it. It's just one plug, so I'm not surprised. Uh, it was available earlier, but we just got a later start than we expected. We were trying to leave at eight this morning. We ended up leaving at 10, so. Um, all in all, with charging and everything, you know, by the time we get to the stadium, drop off the dogs at the Airbnb, eight hours, not, not that bad. I mean, I'd say we probably spent, we char charged three times for about 25 minutes each, probably spent about, you know, close to an hour and a half charging. Uh, on the way, which is not great, but in the summer we wouldn't have to stop as often, so that probably would have been cut in half. Um, and yeah, so on our way to the game, we will uh, insert some videos from the game in the video here, and then uh, we're gonna see how this charge point works too. If we get the, if we are able to plug in, we'll uh, we'll document that as well. And here we go, Allianz Field, home of Minnesota United. We are at 10% state of charge. It is single digit temperatures here. This is gonna be interesting, guys. So we're gonna walk a little bit away because I don't wanna stay in that big line of cars and I get it's cold, but you know, we gotta get warmed up <laughs> to, into being in the cold, which is ironic, but oh well. So here's this Target up here that's got these chargers. And look at that, that's all backed up with cars. So honestly, maybe walking's faster, but it's gonna be cold. Caitlin's not happy about that, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Now we'll have a toasty car afterwards because we'll be plugged in. We won't be stranded at Allianz Field. Take It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Then merge onto Concordia Avenue. We'll see. <laughs> okay, catch you. Catch you inside. We've arrived at the charge point charger here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we arrived with how many percent? Nine percent state of charge. So go ahead and get the car plugged in, and uh, it is currently about six o'clock uh, Central Time. We'll go ahead and plug in and see what we're at when we return to the car. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got back from Allianz Fields, uh, filming on the phone because the Go we left the GoPro in the car and it's freezing, so it's not working right now. Uh, it is zero degrees Fahrenheit uh, at Allianz uh, or in, in Minneapolis right now. Uh, we are ju we just unplugged from the charge point charger. Uh, three hours of charging, we gained we went from like nine percent when we left it here to uh, about thirty one percent. We're at now. Let me just take a peek. 
Yep, so we gained about 22% uh, charge in that three hours um, using this charge point. It's about seven kilowatt charger. They also have a bunch of the Tesla superchargers over here as well. Uh, so our range is now at 55 miles. So uh, we'll have to plan to charge somewhere tomorrow. Um, I think that our, I asked our person at our Airbnb that I did see an outlet on the outside of the house uh, that we're staying in. And uh, we might be able to reach the, K our uh, level one cable for overnight because it's like I said it is bitter cold it is a uh, zero out uh, my phone actually said negative one and uh, you can see the stadium there in the distance uh, with the blue light going across it right now uh, for the red white and blue for USA there's the red um, but yeah ultimately we are going to have to figure out uh, how to charge tomorrow because the electric by America is about a half an hour from here and in the opposite direction of anywhere we want to go um, so I think there's plenty of charging options here in Minneapolis. I did not plan very well for it, but I know that we'll be able to use PlugShare and figure it out wherever we end up going. Um, it's going to be cold, so I think we're probably going to be wanting to do indoor activities where we can leave the car outside and charge it up somewhere. So anyway, we're going to get going. Uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow.